you know, as a parent, you do. I mean, it, you feel helpless and, and you can't do anything. And then it was test after test after test because it continued to happen and things got worse. And so I just started bawling. <laughs> I said, you know, not again, you know. I, d I didn't want her to have to go through it again. It was only 15 seconds, but it felt like 15 years. I went to so many doctors, cardiologists, pulmonologists, uh, neurologists, and to not know, like, when something was going to happen, if I was going to wake up on the ground, you know, or wake up in a hospital bed and, you know, not know what happened before that. It's terrifying. Prior to us even moving here to Hawaii, uh, she had found out she had uh, breast cancer. But by the time we had moved here, it had really progressed and she ended up having to have a double mastectomy. And so she was all clean and clear from that. And she felt good that, you know, finally that's behind me. Now we can move on and we can you know, start really enjoying paradise. And about a year into us living here, we were celebrating his birthday on our way to uh, Roanoke. And the next thing you know, we had been T-boned by a truck. My husband just wasn't responding and that's what freaked me out the most. And I was just screaming at him and he was just coughing. And so I just thought that that was it. I just thought we were, you know, dead. I had a cardiologist here that I started seeing, and he put me on something called a Holter monitor, which was um, something that measured my heartbeats and everything throughout the night. And one time they called her and asked her what she was doing, and she was sleeping. Her heart was racing over 260 beats a minute, you know, at, at rest. They diagnosed her with uh, supraventricular tachycardia. I had just arrived at work. I'm in my car. She called me. She says, Ricky, I got some bad news for you. I'm like, what's the matter? She says, I just got out of the doctor's office, and he tells me I have colon cancer. He says, hey, I'm, this is the type of cancer you have, and it's not, there's no cure for it. And I can't tell you how long you have to live. And that's, everybody's jaw drops. Because you're like, now what? Now what do you do? you lose your mate like that, it's devastating. But me as a husband, you know, you're going into my bedroom every night, you know, same bed, same bedroom, but by myself. And so I was pretty distraught for quite a while and they were really very caring and, and thoughtful in allowing me to kind of heal through that process. It was very real, but after, you know, two days in the ER, finding out my injuries, I was in a upper body brace from my waist all the way up to my neck for about three to four months. And that's when JLL and the client stepped in and really made all the difference. And that's something that is priceless that I don't think if we were anywhere else, we would have gotten that kind of support. He can alert to changes in my, my heart rate, my blood pressure, and then also if I like have any seizures or anything, he can alert me to that. Jedi being here um, as a service dog for Cheyenne is an absolute lifesaver. Somebody's always there watching her, you know, protecting her while we're not there. Prior to the pandemic, we were still in the healing phase still all trying to figure out how to live life without mom around now. But then along came the pandemic and it forced us to be, you know, in the same room, same house for months on end. And so I guess you had two decisions. You could either fight <laughs> or you can get along. And uh, we ended up getting along. We ended up just getting a lot closer, you know, and I, I became more of a father figure and a friend and, you know, a confidant that they can go to. It's depressing to just be laying on your back and be taken out of your everyday life. Just, you know, 
like that. And so my husband stepped up. He dealt with it in the most strong and courageous and loving way. It was in that moment where I just, I couldn't even put my hair in a ponytail. And he's trying to figure out how to put, you know, my hair in a ponytail where it's just like. Mostly, I don't have to worry anymore. And not only does he help me, you know, through my illness, but on bad days, like, he can always make it brighter. The lift program took a huge financial responsibility off of mine and my wife's shoulders. But not only were they there to help me financially, they were there to support me and my family through the whole thing emotionally. And I'm just so grateful that they were able to do this for us. It's changed my life drastically. It was, it was substantial in that I really felt like I was cared for at, at the worst time of my life. Um, I, can see, I can see a little sunshine above the horizon. And then we kicked off the conference and I saw my client's face on the screen just kind of introducing um, me. And then they opened up this GoFundMe and then I just start seeing people that I do not know from Adam, people that I've never met people that I've never seen giving me $5, giving me $2, giving me $100. And I just, I mean, I cried. Like I went back to my hotel and I just sobbed because just seeing names that I didn't know and that I probably will never meet giving me $5. Like that meant the world to me and my husband, my family. And I can't thank JLL enough. I'm so thankful that they do this and I can't wait to see how many more people and families that they impact in the future because truthfully without every single person at JLL, my husband and I never would have gotten through that, that season that we went through without the JLLF program. Even when bad things happen, because bad things will happen, you just have to overcome them. You gotta believe in yourself. And when you have a company that believes in you, it's easy to believe in yourself. And uh, when we talk about Ohana, I've never felt more of a part of the family in my life than I do now. To everyone who gave or donated to the Lyft program, even just the smallest amount, you're impacting people's lives. Thank you, JLL Retail, for lifting me up during my time of need. Thank you, JLL Retail, for lifting me up in my time of need. Thank you, JLL, for lifting me up in my time of need. Thank you, JLL Retail, for lifting us up in our time of need.